Okay, this is my 436 HP scanner. I'm going to mess around with the zip code settings. I'm not an expert at it, but I'll give it a try. Let's get this up here where we can see it. Okay, <clears throat> sorry about my throat. I've got sinus problems. Sinus drip. <laughs> All right. So what you do is press the button, the lower button on the side. Go into set location. Hit your enter button. And there's your zip code. Now, if you hit enter, you can put your uh, zip code in U.S. or Canada. Okay. And you just follow. <clears throat> I'm not going to do it because it's pretty simple to do. Just put your zip code in or or whatever. And uh, or you can have the scanner do it for you if you go to auto lo locate. And now I'll do this in real time. It takes a little while for it to find where you are. Let's see if it finds where I am. I haven't done this in a long time. So, seems to be moving on. Let's see if it gets it right. I suppose if you put your zip code in, it might be a little bit closer. I don't know. Maybe somebody else can answer that. And don't cancel out or nothing. It's It hasn't frozen up. It just takes a little time to auto-locate. You can see it's in progress. I'm here in Fort Erie, Ontario, the Niagara region. And yeah, I got it right. Niagara, Ontario. Now, it might be better for me just to put my own zip code in. Uh, get it closer. But I'll hit the enter button. Yes button. Okay, now it's set. Now let's go back in. Set your location. Enter. GPS, I never use it, so I can't help you there. Set your range. You can set it anywhere from one mile or two miles to 50 miles. Um, realistically, I have an outside antenna. I can get stuff about 25 miles out. I've got a set for 30. Now, once you set this, if you turn on your master list, okay, it will load up your master list for 30 miles out right now, okay? If it's set at 50 miles, it'll load all the frequencies for 50 miles out. So again, you can play around with that and uh, turn on the, uh, the master list and uh, go from there. So I got it set for 30 miles. Go back. You can put in a new location if you want to. Save location. Input the name. And that's really it. Um, pretty straightforward. Mess around with the set the range for uh, whatever miles you want to get out. As I said, when you load up the uh, the master list of frequencies, um, it will load up either 30 miles or 10 miles. I mean, if you've just got a little rubber ducky antenna, 
There's no sense in setting it at 50 miles. There's no way you're going to pick up all those frequencies that is going to be scanning. So realistically, would a little rubber ducky maybe 15 miles, 10 miles? Um, you have to play around with it. It depends on your location, um, what kind of building you're in, uh, the weather, so on and so forth. What you're going to pick up and how far out you're going to pick it up. So as I said, you know, uh, it depends on where you are. You have to mess around with it and uh, give it a try and uh, see how you make out. I hope this has helped.